Well, after grinding level loving crap out of this game, I guess we're ready to move on. Oh, well, weren't we here earlier and pilfered this place already? Whatever. Let's go check the hotel where the villain was at. I can dual wield two two handed weapons. <laughs> Isn't that sort of crazy? And ridiculous. I guess we can't sneak in here and kill him. Assuming he was still here. What's this house for? What, someone get murdered here? Ooh, there's a sewer level. Well, you know it's bad if there's a sewer. Coffee! And a pistol! Is that in the barrel? That just sounds nasty. A steel gauntlet. Ooh, fish from a barrel in the sewer? Ugh, that just sounds disgusting, man. You have an idea what's down here? You don't have to raise your strength all the time to do lots of damage. Some moves use agility or magic for damage instead, so you can raise those if you know how to use them. Hello, what's your name? Butcher Blade, Executioner, Executioner, sorry, Orc Blade. Whatever. Anything interesting in the weapon shop? Oh, there's a trainer here too. Am 
Why is there always paper and notebooks in the drawers? One thousand G just learn how to use special and exotic weapons. Seriously, game? You just have to arbitrarily constantly throw these barriers my way that are all based on money. <sighs> oh, hi, Lobo. We're on our way to town to buy some more food. What are you doing here? Trying to find a butler. Okay, I'll help you, but you have to give me all the food. What? I gotta try and keep it a bit clearer. So if his guy's name is Fatty because he's obsessed with food. See any logs in the ground? It's because I was pulling trees out of the ground and throwing them for fun. Why can't this guy be the silent idiot? Um... Well, strong, silent idiot. Um, okay. Your name shall be Lumber. Jack. Sorry that took so long. Lumber Jack joined the party. Now I gotta go search the forest and try and find some money so I can then go learn how to use exotic weapons. Don't mess with me. I can dual wield. I am not to be messed with. Especially by no stinking ghost. Mirrors, hand mirrors. Well, we got jumped by plants. Oh, great. Now they're using sleep. And poison. I can't tell from the DUI if Poison still lasts after ball or not? Why is there five fish in a chest just waiting out in the middle of nowhere? Why are these things faster than me? They're stinking plants! Plants! Everything has to be the poison in here. Got 
got him. <sighs> Hope we kill things quick, I guess. Um. Most games seem to expect you'll spend tons of money on upgrades, I swear. And just, why is this thing faster than I am? I guess we're gonna have to get back to that town. Boy, this town, this map designed so poorly, it's impossible to get out of here. Surprise me. That'd be really freaking stupid. Um, Finally. Yes, that's a bit of a waste. But whatever. What? There's nothing I can do in here. Now what? <sighs> I can't get through the forest, apparently. Seriously, this stuff's worth less than just killing the rabbits. At least most of it. Actually, all of it. The whole point of having a loot system is that it gets better the farther you go in the game, so you're not having to spend tons of time grinding. As it is, you're better off just killing the rabbits repeatedly. The way this game's set up. And there's nowhere to go in the sewers. Apparently the forest is a dead end too. Or is there some secret path I'm missing? Come on.
HUD feels set up poorly, I swear. I guess. So all those go back to the same There's nothing we can do and the game's over because of bad programming. <coughs> There's no way out of this forest apparently. We're heroes now? Well, you're visiting the Heroes Guild, so I just assume you wanted a quest. Oh yeah, can I do a quest? Just so happens that we do have one quest available. One of the locals, a guy named Craig, is looking for a hero to find rare photographs. And the reward is a Pokeball. Let's do it! Visit Craig's house in the city to find out more. But I don't want to do quests. And which one's Craig's house? I suppose he's the one with actual people in it. Maybe. Ah, uh, arrow. Ah, the children I ordered finally arrived. Now take off all your clothes. Are you Craig? Yes, I am. We heard about your quest from the Heroes Guild. Oh, okay. Take this camera. There's this really sexy guy out in the bunny forest by the river. Take pictures of him in all his sexy poses so I can add them to my stalker collection. So at least in a loop, because it's trying to force you to head back to town. Just to check the station that told you they had no jobs for you earlier. Whatever. And I hate games that do that. As far as I'm concerned, if you're going to have the ability to um, have more than max party members around, I 
I'm having so much fun. This guy is gorgeous. We're in his fan club. This is a really nice forest. I like it here. You want to take pictures of me? We need a Pokeball to catch a butler. And the quest reward for pictures is a Pokeball. Okay. You start taking pictures. Ugh. Plead the quest. Return the Craig for reward. And why do we get to name him? What, is he gonna join our party later? Oh, well, this means I can cast magic and attack enemies with high power. Yeah, it does, I suppose. Or I can access magic but only use it in battle, or I cannot use it at all because the game doesn't know how to deal with this. Only use it in battle. So you're almost better off getting the silver armor on everybody so they can now dual wield, being sword and magic users at the same time. This game gets weird. <sighs> Got the pictures? Let me see them. Oh my, I want to have his children. But you're a guy. Shh. Here's the Pokeball. It's the kids again. Who wants to do another quest? Actually, we're looking for a butler. Do you know where to find one? No, I don't know where to find a stupid... I mean, of course I know where to find a butler. But it's a secret, so only one of you is allowed to come when I show you. Okay, show me where the butler is. Excellent. <laughs> what did you say? I mean, follow me, I'll show you. No, fair, I want to go too. But you can't go. Craig's only one person was allowed. I want to go home. I can't take that creepy guy taking her somewhere by himself. Yeah, we're going too, even if we're not allowed. But where did they go? The haunted forest, probably. Why do I have to do all this work? And why do I have to constantly be... Oh, that's right, they can't wear heavy armor. I have to go back all the way to the starting town and drop 200G on both of them. I like, know.
got here? Nothing. Some leather boots, so he's really fast. <sighs> now I guess the question is what led us into the last area. You can resist all you want. <sighs> Meanwhile... And we're here. <laughs> but where's the butler? You fool! Butlers don't exist! I made that up so I could get you here alone. Now take off all your clothes, like a good little girl. <laughs> what a despicable character. I don't care for these trinkets. Ugh. We found a fight way through this forest. Trying to blind us, huh? That's the way out. Die already. Great, multiple points forward. Which one to take? Come on. Hey, where'd Craig go? Dead. Some evil guy killed him. No fair, why do you get all the fun? Did you find the butler? Not exactly, but the evil guy told me where he is. You say he opened up a portal to hell and that's where the butler is. Great, what a terrible quest we have. Oh yeah, and now that portal is open, demons are going to come out and kill everyone. We should probably close it then. No way, I want a butler. I want to see the butler. Me too. 
I want to go to hell. I guess we'll have to catch the butler first, then close the portal. So what, there's a portal to hell down here. You know what, that can wait till next episode. Until then, see ya.